Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. I know, it's the Sith. Well, let's see if we can head down. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have... Where can I get the authorization papers? If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. Move along. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. Yeah, well, how are we gonna do that? <laughs> well. We're pretty stuck for now then, so we might as well go to the he cantina. Evil walks among us. Well, there's not really anything else we can do for now. We've just got to... We might as well drown our sorrows, because we're pretty much just stuck on this planet. We can't get down to the Undercity to look at the escape pods. So, to the cantina! To get drunk! Do, 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 do... Because being drunk is cool. <laughs> it really is, actually. Really fun. Ah, yes, Garouk. Hello there, you just. Sure, I'll buy your deck. Glad to... Right, we'll take a Bazak lesson as well, because I want people that are familiar with this game to learn. Before each Bazak match, you must select 10 cards to form your side deck. Four of these cards will, will be randomly drawn so that. Form your hand during the match. Each bird, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's it's kind of like blackjack, except you can like do minus. It's not a hard game. It's just one of those games that first player draws a card from the main deck and faces it up. So drawing a card, blah blah blah. Basically, if your total goes over 20, you've lost. But if your number's higher than theirs, you win. So, we've got seven. Let's see how that plays out for us. Because we have to win three games in a row. Right. There's nothing I can really do, so I'll put it up to 18 and then stand and leave it there. And all his, then he'll start adding up his cards. Damn, he won. We got a one. <laughs> How the hell are we get such low cards? Ooh, we're pretty screwed. I think this guy's cheating. Right, now normally all, all you'll do is just lose a few credit credits. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. No. You're from the military base. You don't look like one of the Sith. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith occupation force. Nice to meet you, Sana. I'm Ephon Sinatra. Now, I've got an idea. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. We can make this job pretty lonely. 
I'm not actually from Taris, I'm just stuck here until the quarantine ends. You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. No, I wouldn't try that. But, see what she says with the second one, because I know I won't be able to persuade her. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Let's see what she says to that. Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. You need to blow off steam once in a while. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely at the military base. Uh. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship at the military base. But some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Sounds good. I'll be there. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. Good. I look forward to seeing you there. Right, we have a lead. Now, there's also another reason why I actually came in here. It's not that. It's not that either. It's in here. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen! Who cares? It's Duncan and Girl on Friday. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Really? Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen! Ladies and gentlemen, I call your attention to the dueling ring! Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment! Now. I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll! In this corner I give you Gurlon Twofinger! And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! Ooh. Yeah, basically all this is, it's just... Gladi gladiatorial combat and it can get us some money nobody's quick. well that was quick wasn't it so I give basically he wins that's it we do but it's sort of like well there is a little side quest to this as well you can get quite a bit of money from it I'm sorry he'll make that win betting windows closed no more fights right now people are sick so you've seen the same jewel as sorts, but it's bad for business unless... My name is a jaw. I might be interested, what's in this for me? I can arrange for you to fight in the jewel ring if you win. You get the standard contract, 10% of all wages, and don't worry, nobody dies in the ring anymore. Death matches are illegal now. Most fighters in the jewel ring use vibra blades or stun sticks because the ring's pretty small. A few jewelers use blasters, use whichever you prefer. blades and blasters? And nobody ever dies. How come I get the feel? The jewel ring has energy suppressor fields, which look to make sure that no one, nobody dies. Weapons are limited, so they hit but don't kill. And we've got a medic droid in case of serious injuries. I'll do it, but I want more, more than ten percent. Okay. Yeah, try the mysterious stranger. I like that. You've got no past, no history. It makes you seem like you have some big dark secrets. People like that. Make some better. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the other spot. I'm ready for a duel. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this, in this corner, corner, I give you Get I I Duncan. Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris ruling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history. No past and no name. The, the mysterious, mysterious stranger. stranger.
Right, now all we've got to do, just attack Duncan. There's not really much he's going to do at all. He's like the weakest opponent, so I'm not sure he's going to Now I'm just going to do a few of these. Just until I lose. Normally I'll lose like the third or fourth, no, the fourth fight, usually, at this level. Right, let's take another duel. Ladies and in this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> and in the other corner. Well, he's not going to use any fiber blades. Maybe he was going to. It's over. Hold on, two fingers is down.